Hello, I'm Lauren Satterwhite with the NC Medicaid EHR Incentive Program, here to talk about CMS's Registration and Attestation System, or CMS's RNA System. Each year you attest, you won't need to re-register on CMS's RNA System, but you will likely need to make updates. So this webinar will show you how to update the information applicable to this program. Now to make these updates, we encourage you to use CMS's Registration User Guide for Eligible Professionals. And to get to that user guide, go to CMS's EHR Incentive Program website and click on the Registration and Attestation hyperlink on the left-hand side of the page. Then scroll down to the official user guides and click on the Registration User Guide for Medicaid Eligible Professionals. Now after you log on to CMS's RNA system, on the welcome page you'll see the topics Registration, Attestation, and Status. If a returning user clicks on the registration hyperlink, they'll see Resubmit, Modify, Cancel, or Reactivate under the Action column. Click Modify to update your information. That will bring you to the Registration Progress page. By clicking on the first topic or hyperlink, the EHR Incentive Program, it will bring you here where you can update your Medicaid state or territory if you've just moved to North Carolina from another state. You can also update your provider type and your EHR certification number. CMS shows the EHR certification number as being optional here, but it's not optional for our program. So enter your EHR number here and keep it updated with the EHR number that's associated with the system that you're using to capture MU data. It should be noted that for program year 2017, if you're attesting for modified stage 2, you can use a 2014, 2014, 2015 combination or 2015 edition of CERT. If you're attesting for stage 3, you may use a 2015 edition of CERT or a 2014-2015 combination CERT only if it allows you to capture all of the objectives and measures. Once you've entered all your information, click Save, um, Save Your Changes, and Continue. The information you updated will be reflected in NC MIPS within two business days but you won't receive an email from us if you've updated your information, so there's no need to wait on us if you need to attest or reattest. If you're updating the payee information, refer to page 10 of the guide. Select the personal information topic on the registration homepage, and that will bring you um, to this page where you can assign payment to yourself or group. You need to select the payee TIN type. The payee TIN type is the tax identification number, if you're assigning payment to yourself, the payee TIN will be the last four digits of your social security number. If assigning payment to the group, you will select EIN as the TIN type, and CMS will prompt you to enter the group name and group NPI. Save and continue, and if prompted, enter the group's 10-digit NPI that will be receiving the payment. Double-check that the payee NPI on the demographic page in NCMIPS and on your sign out of station are accurate because the that payee NPI is where the payment is going. Page 13 is where you can see how to make updates to your address. To update your site address, click on the business address and phone number topic on the registration homepage. Enter the service location and then save and continue. This should match the service location on file with NC Tracks, so please check NC Tracks to make sure that's the case. Once all updates have been made, click Proceed with Submission. When you see Verify Registration, check that all information on their system is accurate and then Submit Registration. A disclaimer will pop up. Read that and click Agree or Disagree. If you agree, you'll see the submission receipt. Only when you see this receipt can you be sure that your information has been fully submitted. Without going into all the technical jargon, once you submit your information on CMS's RNA system, they send updates to us at the state, and then those updates get loaded into NCMIPS. And again, it may take up to two business days for those updates to be seen in NCMIPS. If you update your EHR certification number, the pay information, or change your name, you'll need to print and sign an entirely new attestation. You can print a new attestation a new copy of the entire attestation from the status page in NCMIPS. If you update your site address or provider type, please tell us after you've made the update so we can be sure that the update went through. On page 19 of the guide, you'll see the user status information screen. 
If you're trying to update your NCID username on NC MIPS, you will need your CMS registration number. So if you ever forget what your CMS registration number is, come to the status information screen because it's there, circled here in red. And one more thing about the status information screen. If it shows a status of pending state validation, that doesn't mean you need to wait on us to move forward to testing or sending us your updated sign attestation. This status doesn't ne necessarily reflect what's going on with the attestation you submitted on NC MIPS. To see the status of the attestation you submitted on NC MIPS, check the NC MIPS status page. One more quick note, updating something on NPPES is not the same thing as submitting your updates through CMS's RNA system. We've had situations where the provider name was updated on NPPES, but we didn't receive that update because they didn't also update, update their name on CMS's RNA. NPPES doesn't feed information to NCMIPS. We only get updates from CMS's RNA system. So when in doubt, resubmit your information on CMS's RNA system so the update gets pushed to NCMIPS. And one more time for the cheap seats in the back, updates may take up to two business days to be seen in NCMIPS. If you have any issues updating your information on CMS's RNA system, please contact the CMS EHR Information Center. They're open Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard, Eastern Standard Time. They are closed on federal holidays. And their number, 1-888-734-6433 or 1-888-734-6563. Thanks for tuning in, and please let us know if you have any questions. Our email address again is ncmedicaid.hit at dhhs.nc.gov.